Tonight, grieving families forced to prolong their closure. Right now at 6, we are following through on the failure of a statewide system at the Florida Department of Health. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Legrone. And good evening. I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. The problem is delaying the process of getting death certificates. On Tuesday, we introduced you to this family after they reached out to us following a sudden death. And now they're still waiting to say goodbye to their loved one. Because we don't have a death certificate and they they aren't giving us any kind of timeline of when they can take care of the process of cremation and, and getting her back to us. We can't close out anything in her life, not her apartment, her car, anything. We can't do anything right now to bring closure and to spread her ashes in Alaska. New tonight, we're learning the impact this is having on religious traditions surrounding burials. ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez today sitting down with one of the only funeral home options for the Jewish community in Tampa, hearing the impact this is having on them and what's being done to bring closure to those in mourning. In certain cultural and religious traditions, when someone dies, the burial process is expected to happen within a tight time frame. For our more observant families, it's not uncommon for us to have a same day funeral, even locally, to where we may receive the call in the morning and have the funeral that afternoon. But without a death certificate, plans are put on pause. This week, we told you the Florida Department of Health's Office of Vital Statistics, claiming a system-wide shutdown is delaying death certificates from being processed. Because of this, the director of the Siegel Funeral Home tells me he worries certain Jewish tradition is at stake. People that are more observant, Orthodox Jews, of which is a, a growing um, sect within our community, they still want to adhere to those uh, traditions very, very rigidly. But now grieving families are in limbo and those working to bridge the gap between death and closure are left scrambling. We basically got an email that said, here's a blank death certificate, here's a blank permit, use these going forward. But there was really no instruction like, does it have to be original signatures? Do we have to hand deliver this to the doctor? Tiffany Larson is the chapel manager. She tells me she's fighting against time and human error as they've been told to manually certify death certificates, which literally means driving to doctor's offices and hospitals. It's been a lot of trial and error of kind of completing things, taking them to the health department and then getting rejected at the health department because um, we faxed it when we were supposed to do it this way, or um, the doctor forgot one little part on there, which normally in the system it would flag the doctor, hey, you missed this, you need to fill this in. But since we don't have that now, it's kind of things are coming up and messing up along the way. Funeral director Charles Siegel says the delay in death certificates is now creating a major backlog for mourning families just trying to move on. In addition to the death certificate, it also notifies Social Security. Um, it also is the way that we get approval for cremation or uh, in, the, in Hillsborough County shipment out of the state of Florida. Larson says she doesn't think this method is sustainable, pushing the people in power for more answers as some funeral homes warn families it could take up to three weeks to process. And they want answers. They want to know why there's been a delay with the, getting their death certificates, why there's been a delay, you know, with the burial. We're doing everything we can um, to get you what you need and to look after your loved one. In Tampa, I'm Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.